the heck is up guys, welcome back to the garage. Today we have something going on where I might ruin the truck. Anyways, if you see behind me, my wheels are like pretty much thrashed. I ran them with serious neglect over the past, since pretty much I had them since the beginning. So, so they started their journey in life off polished. They were shiny, they were smooth. So a little while back when I was cleaning the wheels, I, I sprayed our aluminum brightener stuff that we're kind of testing for like our car care product deal. Um, I sprayed that on there and I took a red scotch bright and I went over them and it kind of gave it the brushed aluminum wheel look. So there's like a half brushed like chrome look kind of deal right there, which you know, it, it looks good from this distance, but as soon as you get up close, it looks like absolute garbage. You can still see like pits and like gross stuff on the wheel. It's just, it's, it's not good. So anyways, what I came up with was I, I've been seeing these float around. These special contraptions here. I've been seeing them float around the old interwebs and I've seen, you know, a couple guys use them on YouTube and I said, huh. I should probably get one of those and do like a legit brushed finish on the wheel. And this thing doesn't have a center plate. Um, so I got these cool little doodads here, center plate, and they go on a grinder. One downfall is that these cannot spin at that high of an RPM. So your traditional grinder runs what? In between 9,000 and 11,000 RPM cutoff grinder, um, which is what I have. You really only want to run these under like 2000 RPM or they'll start ripping apart and shooting in your eye. So we're probably going to have to figure that one out. All right guys, so here's our finished product after after the wash. Now if you get in close, you can see that it like, it, it's, not, it's not a good look. There's still a bunch of crap on here. It's not smooth at all. It has, uh, th there's pits, there's metal flakes, and there's still junk all over these wheels. So they look good from back here as you get closer and in person, they look like trash. I didn't hit this wheel too hard with the acid stuff, but this back wheel I did pretty good cause it was pretty bad. And you can see that it's still like super gross. So here's just the little before of what we're working with. And you can see where I hit here with a Scotch-Brite and towards the back of the barrel, it's still polished. Like you can see the reflection of the uh, spokes here. So we want to eliminate that and go with a full satin brushed finish over the whole wheel. And hopefully we can take all of that junk off and make it look like a proper brushed wheel. All right, so grinder of choice is just the old standard Dewalt cutoff grinder. Um, this thing spins way too fast for what we need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of this action in here like this, and hopefully we can give it a nice buff. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attempt to just bump the trigger. I'm not gonna grab this thing and hold it wide open like your old YZ250. I'm just gonna um, bump the trigger, kind of just rev it. Whoa. I think that's way too fast. It's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Alrighty, so we're gonna try this again. We went to Harbor Freight, we got ourselves ah, uh, Warrior, it's a Warrior. Thing must be a beast, right? Um, so variable speed, uh, it goes from 600 all the way up to uh, 3,500 RPMs, which is like the norm for uh, variable speed grinders. So we're gonna start on like level two. So that would be like what, like 1,200 RPMs? I don't have a clue. I'm just gonna wing it and try to see how it does on here because the Dewalt, way too fast, that wheel would have 100% split apart. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh yeah. Now this is what I'm talking about here. Alright guys, so we just did a little strip with the Magnum. No. Warrior. I don't even know what it's called. Um, so you can see what we did right here compared to not done here. You can see all this crud, right? And then right there now I, we don't have like uniform straight lines just yet um but i think i can take care of that by hand with this so if i if so after we use that 
we could go over it with this just really quick just to uniform out the lines. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks incredible. Wow. Okay, so this is good news. That works. So we're getting somewhere now. Alright guys, first light run with the deal. I went over it really quick by hand just to even out the scratches. I found if I turn the speed up just a little bit, it kind of straightens out the uh, wheel and it, it gives it more of a uniform straight, you know, straight lines in the, in the brushed look. So I went over it really quick by hand and here is what we are working with. Um, I'm pretty pumped with how it looks. Um, you, you know, you can tell that I could do more in the back back here because it's still a little, it's still a little polished looking back there. You know, it's more brushed and satin out here and you can still see a little bit of reflection back there. It might just be the way the light's hitting it, but I still think I need to hit back there just a little bit. But there's what we're working with after one pass and I cleaned it up by hand. It looks pretty good. I'm pumped. Now it's just a matter of taking the next two hours and doing all of the wheels. guys I just finished the rear passenger now this was the worst one what I did was I went over it twice so I did it one full time and then I did it one full time again and how I was doing it I was going I was starting in the back and I was going pushing pushing pretty firm all the way out so it would get it would get a nice you know uh, pass from that on there heavy um, so I would go over it heavy for like maybe like you know this much couple passes heavy inside the out and then I would just go over it light, um, minimal pressure, basically just the weight of the grinder, go back and forth over top of the heavy passes because that evened it out. Because before, you could see like your, your passes from going heavy, you could see your swipes. Um, so then, yeah, just the weight of the grinder over it, floating just over it, and it made it like the perfect brushed look. And it looks absolutely sick. So I did the spokes, as you can see. Um, so the spokes came out pretty good. You can see a little bit of brushed action right up in there. Um, so I, I'm really liking how the spokes look. Now I just got to figure out how to get in between the spokes. Um, I mean, I can do it manually by hand. It's just going to literally take forever. So as of right now, the barrel and the, and the face of the spokes are, are pretty much done. This is how it's going to look. And I'm very, very happy with how it looks. It looks really good I definitely like the satin you know brush finish on on black trucks now what's really left to do on like that wheel there is the inner barrel so that'd be the inside of the wheel um, the back side of the spokes and then in between the spokes so there's still a lot of work left to do on that wheel but like cosmetically from the front looks pretty sick This is the best wheel by far. So right at the end, I figured it out. The last wheel out of all four, finally figured it out. But if you look down at this thing, you just get that nice satin, you know, brushed look. Man, that looks good. I'm really, I'm really excited with the with the brushed look. It looks way better than the polished in my book on black. Now everyone has their per personal preference, but let me know what you guys think on the brushed look on the black truck. That kind of goes along with that. Dang.
thing, son. Wow. All right, don't 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 look at the paint because the paint's not that good, but the wheels are looking fresh. Wow. What do you guys think on the brush look over the chrome? Um, I'll put a chrome picture up here. Now the brushed, that satin brush look looks really good. Alrighty, there you guys go. We officially uh, made the wheels satin brush finish and a pumped. I like it a lot. So here's what we used. Um, this is through like Renegade Products. I got the uh, satin airway buff wheel. I don't even know what the technical name for it is. And then I got their center plate, which is uh, comes with the backing plate, which goes on first. And then you have your, and then you put on the actual satin wheel. And then you put on the threaded part you know, lock it down and you're good to go. But here's the wear on this wheel. I mean, I just did four wheels, pretty hardcore, and there's only like a little couple pieces. And I honestly think I tore that whenever I was uh, trying to do the exhaust and it kind of hooked on the edge. So, old warrior from Harbor Freight, not a shout out, I'm just saying. This sucker worked pretty gosh darn good, which I am uh, pretty impressed. It was like 40 bucks and it didn't even get that hot. You know, I don't run, run them stupid handle things. I, I just grab it, you know, like this. This is how I was taught to use a grinder, you know. So I just grab it, you know, the old, old like pipe liner way and I uh, just send it like that. And usually a crappy grinder, if you're running it a lot, will get super hot up here and you, you know, you can't hold it, you know, it'll burn your hand. Um, this thing really didn't get that hot. I wasn't running it like crazy high RPMs though. Um, and it worked pretty good for 40 bucks, so well worth it. Warrior.